What's going on everyone, it's Justin here, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys a preview of my next home project. This is really exciting because you guys know that I usually try to have a home project each year, and this one is the ultimate tech loft. And we're gonna be using Gamma and their new design website that recently came out to show you guys a presentation deck, some of the concepts and ideas that I have, as well as some of the tech that I'm looking to put in this new Ultimate Loft. And I wanna give a huge thanks to Gamma for sponsoring this video. And for those who don't know, Gamma is an AI app that allows you to create beautiful presentations, websites, documents, and social media carousels using the power of AI to allow you to stand out visually. And I'm also gonna be showing you guys their new AI image editing features. In the last video, I talked about how I make creative presentations and media kits with Gamma, and we also give away a Mac Mini. And I wanna give a huge congrats to Aaron, who won the Mac Mini. We just shipped it out to him a couple weeks ago, so I'm actually gonna give away another one. So if you guys wanna enter, just go ahead and drop a like on this video, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment down below as to how you would use Gamma, as well as your Instagram username. That's really important, so we can contact the winner directly in two weeks. And I mean, I had a few comments from you guys on how you use Gamma and how it's changed your workflow, so that was great to hear. So here's a criteria of the preview for this new loft project. It is a loft in a big city, 900 square feet, has 14 foot ceilings, the bedroom's on the second floor, and I've gone with an oak design. So when it comes to creating with Gamma, as I mentioned, the power of this is that it utilizes AI. And as you open it up, you can either paste in text that you already have, information that you have, generate something from scratch, from one line prompts, just something more general as like an idea starter, or you can also import a file or URL based on an existing website, or you can also add your Notion template that you might already have stuff added to. So in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and hop in to generate. And I'm going to generate a presentation to be able to show the concept for this new home project and give you guys an idea of what it's going to look like and also to send out to brands as well that may want to work together on this specific project. Make an interior design and architecture concept deck for a minimalist Japan D. Scandinavian tech loft. So we're gonna go ahead and generate the outline and then I'm going to add some of the images and the visuals and also utilize the image editor as well. So you can see it's built a basic outline. It's giving me the Nord Zen loft concept, design principles and materials, spatial layout and technology, furnishing and finishing details. And from there, if I wanna change the prompt a little bit, um, categorize into general design and then have a page for millwork and tech. So, so let's just update that a little bit. And I think the great part about prompts is that you can always change them here and there. And there we go, we have our four categories. The vision, interior design and approach, millwork and wood detailing, integrated smart and home automation. And then I'm just going to type out the actual dimensions. And then we can always update this in the future. And then from there, I'm just going to type out um, themes. So dark, light, professional, co uh, colorful, and you can also customize it from scratch. I think like a lighter feel in this case does make a lot of sense. And I think I like this one right here. So we're just gonna select that theme. When it comes to images, I'm going to have some AI images or stock images. I like the fact that I can actually pick stock images from Unsplash, which is a place that I've actually sourced a lot of wallpapers in the past. And then within a few seconds, you can see it generalizes and creates a deck that allows me to kind of customize and work from there. And then from here, I'm just like adding different AI prompts to maybe change like the formatting. Um, I'm also going to add some images into the frame from here, I'm going to drag my own images. So here I have a little folder set up for this project and we're just gonna start with the millwork frame. And then I can choose if I want it to have a border or remove the filling. 
And I'm also gonna have an image gallery for some of the concepts that have been added. So in this case, we're going to add a card with AI. And I kind of need four image boxes for this one, just to fit all of the architectural drawings. For this one, let's just add some more angles of the kitchen. And then I can also add some more images as well and adjust the title in this case. Going back to some of the image generation features though, we can ask AI to say, replace this image. And I'm gonna go with something just a bit more simple. And then in this case, I also feel like we should have a general card that allows us to just have a mood board as well. Some of the AI editing features also include the ability to remove background, upscale, vectorize, or animate a generated photo or one that you've already uploaded as well. So I think that's cool. You can also like use the suggestions. So add like a room divider to modify an AI image. And that is one of the new tools here. And with the chat with AI, you can really use your imagination to tell it what you'd like to see. So right after this prompt of adding the room divider, I'm actually going to have it add some oak vertical slats, similar to what I have right here. Uh, so in this case, it has a room divider, um, add oak slatting, oak vertical slatting. And as you can see, it's taken that original AI image and added the vertical slatting. Over on this side, we can also ask AI to I don't really know if I spelt that properly, but it's gonna now replace the image with a eucalyptus plant, which I feel like matches this aesthetic pretty well. And there you have it. So this is like a very useful tool for you to go ahead and edit the images, remove the background on something, edit it a little bit, and use AI to be able to generate images, access stock images, but also add some of the photos of your own. I feel like it's really hard a lot of times to have all of the collective assets that you need for a presentation. And the amazing part about this being built in is that you can choose your AI image generator, use some of the tools when it comes to the editing features and upscaling features that not necessarily are just based on the generation aspect to be able to create the visuals that you need to get your story across. So when it comes to the text section, this place is gonna have a few key features. Obviously the living room is the biggest part. You guys know I love to focus on the living room. And so the TV, the audio system, how that design is gonna feed in to the Scandi, Japandi minimalism of like light tones and textures. And in addition to that, also having some of my favorite things, including steam closet, um, the Wi-Fi, and all that like other backend stuff. So this is what the tech section is all about. So as you can see, we were able to create a presentation deck really easily. And the best part about Gamma is that you're able to allow it to change the font. You can add your own style guides in or go based on ideas that they've already presented from their own templates. And I think the beauty of that is you have options. You can choose between using their assets or your own assets but starting out with an idea and getting it into a usable state, I think is what makes it such a powerful tool that allows you to focus on creating as opposed to trying to figure out how to navigate different softwares as the world changes very quickly. Something that I've also been trying recently is actually importing Notion templates. You guys know I use Notion on a daily basis. And so whenever I have like different ideas and wikis typed out, being able to export that out and just paste a link into Gamma and have it converted into other mediums has also been really handy. So let's go ahead and try that out right here. So in this case, say I'm hiring for a marketing or a PR uh, specialist, and I have like a wiki for that role that has been typed out as well as all of the little details as you break it down to the subcategories. So let's export that page and see how it is able to present as like a document for job requirements if I'm looking to hire for that role. And as you can see, it was very quickly able to formalize everything nicely, organize it using both the visual aspects and also AI to refine the copy. 
So with this recent update and Gamma's new website and rebrand, the biggest new feature is the image editor. Being able to do that all within Gamma and being a web-based app allows everyone to have access to some of the most amazing tools when it comes to presentations, websites, documents, and social media carousels. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you go ahead and drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you all in the next one.